774 ABC Melbourne, Richard Stubbs in the afternoon, 26 to 2. And George Campbell, National Manager of Star Ratings Australia, has entered with two fists in the air to his theme song, David Bowie's Star Man. Welcome, George. Thank you, Richard. Is that your ringtone? Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it should be. should be. Uh, we were just chatting while Starman was playing, and I was saying to you that I uh, used the star system quite a bit when I was camper vanning with the kids and stuff to mm. work out a way of going, oh, I'm not sure which caravan park is going to be useful or not. Let's go through it. Where did, where did this system originate? Well, look, the system's been around oh, over 50 years. Um, it, it's uh, actually originated with the clubs and it's still owned by the clubs. Um, we uh, started it way back when cars were just coming into the scene because uh, touring uh, with cars was a big thing way back when cars came into the scene. So the RACV and clubs, the auto clubs, uh, wanted to help the members and add value to the members by uh, assisting them on accommodation choices. Mm. And from there it's blossomed, you've got what, 7,000 members? Yeah, or, just or over 7,000. Yeah, this? yep, yep, just over 7,000 and growing. And it's pretty simple, isn't it? One star, not as good. Five star, really good. Yeah, well, it's no different to the ANCAP system, uh, which is also owned by the clubs. It's a rating scale. Um, so, you know, if you're looking at uh, five star, for instance, well, you'd expect the bells and whistles at five star, and you'd expect lots of facilities of high quality and exceptional cleanliness. I always think it's the uh, the shift between three to four. I'm never quite sure. What makes a three? What makes a four? Yeah, look, five. Three, I know. Look, one. I know. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Well, look. It's all the, the actual scheme. Now we've changed the scheme, and as you said in your preview, uh, we've changed the scheme because we did a, a massive amount of consumer research, and you know the scheme, like um, you know, people's choices have evolved. Um, and uh, we've introduced uh, a scheme that actually now measures uh, cleanliness and quality, just not the facilities. So I think this is a radical change. It always used to just look at the facilities, do a checklist, tick, tick, tick. Uh, if you've got that, you're yep. a three. If you've got that, you're a four. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. plus sheets, five star. Good on you. <laughs> but now you're adding a bit of subjective to it. And I, I wonder if this is because the way we get our information, if we're not using a five star system... Yeah is to jump online and look at what our peers have reviewed or said about it. And they all tend to be this kind of subjective yeah. thing. Look, are, you, are you changing the star system to be more in line with that? We're actually changing the star system to be more in line with consumer needs and okay. wants, I guess. Um, and, you know, by introducing what, what the mandate from the consumer research said was that, you know, we want, we want to make sure that cleanliness is number one. It's next to God, godliness. And we want to make sure we just... We want to make sure of the standard of the quality and condition of the facilities we're actually experiencing. How many of your elite team go out um, pushing mattresses, lifting up bits of carpet, <laughs> opening and closing the curtains? Yeah. We've got a massive amount of assessors out there. How Twelve. many is a mass? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. How many Ks would they clock up? Uh, absolutely. Uh, they, they, they deserve a medal because they do a, a, a hell of a lot of uh, driving. Uh, I've been out with them. Um, I got uh, challenged by the New South Wales uh, assessor two years ago uh, and she said to me, she said, uh, you don't understand what we're, we, we do. You and sit there in your office, yep, you've always exactly. been a manager, you've been a branch manager, you've never travelled, you don't know anything. Get out there. I don't know anything still. Yeah, that's right, but at least you've put, put some kilometres up. So. Yeah, well look, that was an interesting trip because I got to, I really got, uh, it, it really experienced the, the life of an assessor and uh, look, it's an amazing life they lead. Um, we ended up uh, at a place called Whitecliffs, um, and it was an under, underground cave for accommodation. And it was just out of this world. And th th the beauty of Australia is that there's so many interesting places. And th that trip really taught me what Australia was all about. I'm kind of taken with the life of the assessor. Uh, from my understanding... Are you, are you looking for a job? No, well, I've, you've got to be... Yeah, I wouldn't mind, mm. but the, but you've got to be ex sort of hotel or ex... Like, you've got to know something yeah. about it. Yeah, look, you have to have a, a good understanding of the industry. Um, that's one of the criteria because, you know, you're dealing with like people. How often are they on the road? Like, what's a... How does uh, it work? I would say out of 365 days a year, probably about... Uh, they're away from home about 130. So that's if, you, lot, if, you, if you're trying to get away from your wife, great job. Great job. Mm. That's right. How long have you been married to your wife? Real time or, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the time Absolutely. we've been together? Well, you know, it's... Uh, it all it, counts. It, it, it saves marriages. <laughs> it's, he's married to That's very nice. Um, I'm detecting a slight accent. Are you Italian? I'm Australian. Ah. 
And and that's funny because I've met others with that kind of accent. And they they mm. said, oh, no, I'm from somewhere else. Where did your family originate? Uh, they came from Scotland. They're actually Scottish. Oh, really? That yeah. would explain it. That explains that. Whereabouts in Scotland? Uh, my tutor from Fort William, up in Jeez. the Highlands. Up in the Highlands. Ben Nevis. Okay, because the reason that's I asked that, 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 that's, that's where I learned about accommodation in the caves. Yeah, that's right. Well, the reason I asked that is this program for a long time well, usually has two Scots working on it, has one at the moment, and they come. one of them comes from the Isle of Skye and has had to go back, so even further. Beautiful yeah. part of the world. Well, if you like sleet and oh, slate. If and you, you love the rain. It's oh, if wonderful. you love the rain. <laughs> <laughs> and don't we all. Yeah. Hey, your assessors uh, who go out and do this thing. Um, paper's a thing in the past? It's all uh, interconnected? Yeah, look, look, I guess iPad-y. absolutely iPads. Uh, and it's all, you know, it's all been designed by uh, some very, very intelligent people at Victoria University. Good uh, on who them. actually put the, the whole uh, mechanism together. Um, so, you know, we're very, very happy with the work that uh, Victoria University did in helping us with this project. So if you had to, if you change the nature of the star system on all these properties, have you had to revisit all the properties, all 7,000, to then go, OK, we're going to adjust them under yeah. the new scheme? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're, we're about... Uh, Twelve people have had to hit seven thousand properties and readjust, and have been hitting the ground hard. I can, as you can imagine, um, you know the chap that was just on there with the bikes. Well, our guys have been hitting the roads. You know, same sort of way. Same sort of way. Company springs them for a bike. Get on it. Stuff, <laughs> uh, yeah, look, uh, we're about two thirds of the way through. Probably, well, just over half. What happens if people get downgraded in the new system? Uh, uh, I've been a five star for yeah. six years. Yeah. Now I'm not. Yeah, that's an excellent. You're going to get a phone call. Yeah, absolutely. No, we don't. We're not that cruel. Um, we actually want to work with the industry. Got to be honest. Um, we have to be honest, but at the same time, we've got to give them time to reinvest if they have to reinvest. And so we've given them a moratorium to try and help them. Oh, okay. You know, Bring yourself up to standard? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God, that means the assessors have to go back to some of these 7,000. Oh, they go back quite regularly, oh, Richard. These guys are just on the... They are road warriors. <laughs> they are. That's amazing. Mad Max is one called... One of them's called Mad Max. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, and we were talking about doing a prequel to Mad Max, and now we see where he comes from. He wasn't a highway <laughs> police at all. He was an assessor. He was an assessor. <laughs> and when the gangs took over the highway, he was the only one you could count on. <laughs> the uh, So we're chatting with George Campbell. He's National Manager for Star Ratings Australia, which is... Uh, uh, the organisation that provides the star ratings for seven thousand dollar accommodations and is shifting the way it uh, is measured. So, what will that mean to us? When when will we start seeing these things? Well, you should start seeing them fairly soon because uh, we've rebranded and um, the clubs, the auto clubs, are quite engaged of uh, in in relation to uh, promoting star ratings um, to the to their members and um, they they basically have three quarters of the nation's adult population as members. Mm-hmm. So it's a fairly oh, it's substantial. A big deal. Yeah, it's a substantial amount. So um, you know we've uh, we, we're going to be hitting the streets with the, with with the uh, the campaigns fairly soon. Okay, uh, it's a very fine line you walk, isn't it? Because you're you've got ex industry people, mm. you work with the industry, but if you're not honest in these star ratings, if they're just yeah. uh, self serving then all the people who are the clients who are using them will go, well, I don't trust these star ratings. Look, one of the like things, the health yeah. s- tick of approval. You yeah. know, yeah. Look, one, 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 of the, uh, one of the things that came back from the consumer research was that, look, you know, there's so many things out there that are saying they're great. Um, we want something that's official. Um, we want to see that something is actually independent and mm. official. Um, and that's part of our rebranding. Um, you know, we're, we're now calling ourselves the official star rating. Uh, oh, that makes a difference. And, and you put the word in the front of it. It's amazing, yeah. <laughs> Make, makes a big difference. <laughs> was that your idea, George? Did no, you so come up with that at I'm, the meeting? I'm not claiming that one. No? <laughs> that, was, that was one of the advertising agencies. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Put the word in. <laughs> oh. yeah. uh, no, but look, uh, I think, I think uh, with, with star ratings, Richard, I think uh, people can, you know, when they're booking their accommodation, they, be, they can be guaranteed that it's clean and it's well-maintained. Wait, it's really interesting, I think, because... Your brand, your whole thing, will only survive so long as there's the absolute trust in it. Because yeah. otherwise, we'll yeah. do what we do with everything yeah. else, and we'll Google yeah. reviews and stuff like that, and we'll yeah. make up our own minds. Yeah. But the the star ratings, it, it, its integrity is everything. I absolutely, think. absolutely, and uh, I guess uh, that's one of my mandates. Yeah, pressure on you. I was just going to lots say. of pressure because you know you do get squeezed. Mm. Um, but the bottom line is we've got quite uh, quantifiable standards and there's over 200 of them and uh you know you either make the grade or you don't 
So the 12 assessors go through 200 standards. Over 200 standards. At every place they at go to. Every single place. As they program. travel. To, I want a documentary on these dudes. This is just... <laughs> this is just sounding like, do they go mad? Do any of them just go mad? Do you have to send teams out? Is it like Heart of Darkness or something uh, where so you just get a postcard back, sell the wife, sell the kids, sell everything, <laughs> and they've gone, okay, uh, do you, I can see you having to brief. He's gone completely. We, uh, he's up the Long Nan River. We have a very... Terminate his employment with extreme prejudice. Do you have to say that to someone? Well, we have a very sophisticated counselling service. Let me say that. Is that you? That's me. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Uh, George, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Good luck with the new system. This is a huge thing you're rolling out. Uh, what was the? Did you get all the assessors in the one room to tell them what was happening? Ah, uh, look, we've actually trained, been training assessors, assessors for the last three years. Yeah, but did you get them all in the one room at the one time? Oh uh, yeah, we do that. We do that regularly. Actually, we do that twice a year. Did they look a bit the same? Are they all twitch the same way or something? They all carry the same coat or? They've all got one head and yeah, two eyes. Okay. And, yeah, I just right. thought it might. Sounds like a hard job. It's a, uh, it's a tough gig, but they love it. God bless them. <laughs> George, thank you so much. We'll look for the uh, changes in the star ratings. Yeah. It's interesting as you desperately roll it out and keep credibility at the same time. It's a tricky balancing act you've got there. Uh, it's, it's, it's a challenge and it's really enjoyable challenge. It's so what you've got to take on if you're going to stay relevant. Uh, Absolutely. You, you can't just atrophy and be a dinosaur. You've got to reflect what the way in which we get our information now. Well, Good that's luck. what we do. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> Thanks, Richard. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. 774 ABC Melbourne.